Hey Air Sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Agenda, and this is my let's play of Airships Conquer the Skies. In the last episode, we uh, died, and so we have rolled back to the point before we committed our fleet to what turned out to be a logistically logistical nightmare of a hopeless campaign. And we're going to see if on a second attempt we can do things a little better this time around. Yeah. I believe this was the save I took right before <laughs> I dispatched the whole fleet to Clutherdale. This is a much better place for us. Yeah, it was foolish. Uh, although I think our allies will just take it on their own anyway, and then you know what? They can deal with it too. Valiant already exists at this time, so we need to be fully prepared to fight that. In fact, as long as I'm here, we could take a look at the... At a more... Why is this... Was this not the other way a minute ago? Can I just flip the whole ship around? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. We could consider building a big battleship. But first I'm going to figure out how to... We're not getting rid of those permanently, but I'm getting rid of them for a second. So that I can... Rearrange this ship for modern... That's true, Valiant was pretty damn tough. Double suspendium cannons, yes. Put the telescope in the sky. Aerial torpedoes might do something. Quite expensive though. We could have an externally mounted one. Um, alright, alright. No weapons. Uh, where'd the Gallic gun go? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping the flamethrower. Um, okay, now I need to figure out where to put the machine shop and the bridge. Sort of perfect, okay. Yeah, where's the ammo? Oh yeah. Probably. It was closer to the guns before. now? There? Well, these guys should all be able to guard it. It's definitely possible to get all these to stack, I just have to figure out how. Let's see here. Not 
like that. If I put this here, then it blocks that, though. Maybe it's not possible to get those two to stack? Oh yes, doesn't stack with Observation Dome. Observation Dome is better, though. It'll waste a bunch more and all, but... Okay. Yeah, you can't. Alright, so we've got the observation dome, we got the telescopes, or anything else I should really have? Probably not. Why is this propeller not accessible? Would it be if I lowered it by one? Yes. Okay. Kinda nice to have a little more propulsion, to be honest. Ooh, but that brings us to insufficient crew. Although that's kind of easily fixed. Then again, at that point, we're talking adding a lot of costs, so maybe we'll stick with this. It's not their forward-backward speed that concerns me. Really. It's more their service ceiling, which is pretty bad, even with three suspendium chambers. Actually, at this point, we probably really could. How's this stack compared to that? This is better, this is equivalent to two and a half of those. It also takes up the space of about two and a half of those. And it costs as much as two, and it would require a pretty radical redesign. could do that, although it would probably be quite prone to going kaboom, but it's uh, maybe that's a risk to take. That certainly helps the service ceiling out, but it also does double the refit cost, and we're not exactly made of money here. Yes, but when they go boom, usually they just kind of go boom. Like they take a hit and they just explode, you know? Let's see how this works out. Let's add... I don't really know if there's like... Where's the big supply hatches? I don't quite know what the point of reinforcing this, these is either. I don't think it provides any better... Um, no, it doesn't increase the supply at all. Neither does a wood one either. Maybe they're just less likely to be destroyed in battle, I guess. I don't know if these stack infinitely exactly or what, but... I mean, in terms of just resupplying faster, which is a thing we really want to do, but, uh, yeah. So we will get all our ships refitted like so. Wait. Oh, right. 
You say, what, what, what would it do if I just hit the fifth button? Apparently it just does nothing. Um, let's get some factories built. And some forts, probably. Do I have, like, oh no, I have three dollars enough to build this. Good. Yeah. Heavy cannon forts are indeed definitely something we're gonna need. I'm gonna prioritize building of factories down here. And then after that, the heavy cannon forts. No thanks. You guys have probably got this. They retreat immediately. Oh. They repel the Dragon Rider. Good for them. It's Valiant, Artful, and a couple of borders up there. Let's see what we can do to improve this fort design. Right? First of all, what armor are they using? This looks like brick, right? Not break. Stone. Yeah. That being said, although it is cost effective, it only absorbs six blast. Three piercing. Although I guess it's got more HP, but... Surely, although a bit more expensive per... Oh, not this, though. Well, yes. Heavy steel is significantly better still, huh? Like, it absorbs way more aside from its HP. I don't know how much exactly this is going to add to the cost, but I'm pretty sure that a heavy steel fort would be a lot more durable. Okay, so that's a good start. Aside from that, you're quite right. I think suspendium cannons are probably overkill. But uh, maybe replace one of the Gatlings with a flamethrower. They're not even expensive, they've been quite effective. And let's get a way to fit in. Oh, really? Stupendously big. Um, although, they could fit one in. The other thing is they're not even that good. Exactly. Uh, you know what? No. They do splash damage, which is kind of spectacular, actually. But they don't do much more direct damage than a heavy cannon, and they have a much longer reload time. We could fit a, an Imperial Cannon in here. Technically speaking. Although those alone would cost, like, as much as the whole fort. I think we're almost certainly... It does have its own ladder, yeah. Look at that. It's probably... I think it's probably, if it's pretty much a choice between them, I think I'd probably rather have two heavy cannon than one imperial cannon. For redundancy purposes. Let me just lift the whole top off the fort real quick. <laughs> Lower it back down. Those don't align anymore, but that's fine. Let's see, let's get the bridge down there. <laughs> we 
can probably use the space to fit extra ammo or something, because this fort has been... I don't think the deck guns are doing much, to be honest. I'm going to take those off. I could put a proper turret on top instead, I think, yeah. Okay, there's definitely space for something in here. Probably... Guard barracks. Make it harder to capture the place. Or... More ammo, actually, is what I was saying a minute ago. Somewhere in here there's definitely space for... More ammo, actually. Let's see here. this. Oh, that's that extra guard barracks. Uh, we might not exactly have room for that anymore, which is fine. That's a little heavy. Is it possible? Okay. Probably with that turret, it's not possible to install the crow's nest, but we could at least have a telescope. Wait, could it face the other way, perchance? No? Apparently not, but if I put it over here, then it counts. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I'll take it. I don't have the DLC. It adds heroes or something. I don't know how it works. I don't think that it's possible to fit a crow's nest on here. Well, maybe technically, but I think I'd be heavily interrupting the field of fire of the turret. So I'll just take this telescope that's definitely facing the wrong way, but apparently that's okay. Now, also this is super expensive, but, uh, yeah, I have heard that. Mm. I probably wasn't going to buy it for my, well, yeah. I do want the DLC, it's just not high on my priority list, let's put it that way. Actually not, well, how expensive is it to build one of these from scratch now? Well, not that much more expensive than what we had. Takes a lot longer to build. Maintenance isn't too bad. <laughs> That's alright. Um, there you go, there you go. Oh, 
game's still running. Let's see. Factories. We're saving for a factory there. What do we have? We have... Okay, we do have one defense here. That's what I just used for this refit. That's right. No, don't refit it into yourself. Just... Nine hundred and thirty-three cost almost as much to just build a new one. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Let me know what you think, and then I'll see if I uh, see if it's worth getting for myself or not. Okay, so we've refit these ships. I don't know if they're valiant killers exactly now, but they're uh, they're something. What kind of armor are they using? Steel? Uh, I wish there would be a tooltip that told me. I'm pretty sure they're using basic steel. Yeah. Heavy steel would be a fair bit more durable, but we would have to add that um, additional, uh, whatchamacallit, suspendium chamber. Otherwise, we would just be barely floating at all. Alright, so we got three cruisers. We've got factories building there. I'm gonna build factories there. And then we're probably gonna start building more cruisers, because we're gonna need a fleet of them to fight Valiant, really. that our allies are actually holding Clotherdale still. I would think that, honestly, that these guys would just counterattack and shove them out, but, uh... Days will maybe even. Interesting, there's a fleet academy there. One of these days, maybe we'll actually recover from the war. Whew, that's kind of nice. You can't really afford it right now, but that's kind of nice. Uh. Oh, yeah, multiplayer was added, um... Oh, um... Last year, maybe? Not a super long time ago. Maybe even only in the summer, actually. Maybe only, like, six months ago. Uh, yeah. I've played a campaign in it. It works pretty well, actually. I mean, it's basically just this, and you each control your own country, so... Or you can do just, uh... PvP single battles, I think. Uh, okay, we have enough to... Oh, 1350, okay, well, we're almost have enough. I'm gonna not bother refitting the existing forts, I think, because it'll cost almost as much as building a new one. I'm just gonna build a new fortress to supplement them at the locations that need it. You know what, the only thing that would be worth refitting on these is probably 
is to replace their brick armor with heavy steel, because I think that would cost very little and would probably make a significant difference to their survivability. Yeah, that's only 144. That's probably worth it. The good news is, even though technically they can bypass everything, mostly the AI is nice enough to not bypass stuff, so... If we fortify Docto enough and Lord's Port enough, then they don't really go past them. No. Go to hell. Just because you have a Valiant and a Dragon. Honestly. Our cities are even starting to actually recover from the lightly pillaged and all that. Just looking through to make sure they all actually have markets and ports and such. Looks like it. In terms of research, I think we finished that, so now... Well, that's it for that, huh? Alright, um... Sailor maintenance cost. Fleet resupply speed. Steel armor blast absorber. Ship construction speed. These final tier techs are really powerful. I feel like tech advancement is too fast, though. Maybe there was a setting for that, but... Thanks, Dragon Bridge. Can I send one somewhere? Yes. Good. I appreciate how the reputation system just allows us to just boost each other's reputation infinitely in a circle. Sure. It makes sense when it's a free-for-all, but it kind of breaks down, because it's basically just my alliance against this, this alliance up here at this point. I wish... I mean, it's good that it's easy to rebuild, but I let... I wish it would, um just bring us to the, like, select what you want to rebuild it to screen when I pushed refit, honestly. Tell you what, these spindly, stupid towers, the two that are broken, I'm tossing in the garbage. Also the weird duplicated half of Cassius. And I will build one of these, and, uh... Tell you what, dude, whose status is a hero of the Empire... Cass just can have a couple of heavy cannons. <laughs> They're horrifying. I love them. <laughs> okay. 
that'll amount... Oh, great, there's pirates down there. Cassius, hero of the Empire. <laughs> Indeed. Did they just get repelled? Pulse from Churchdale? Or Cotherdale? I don't know what happened there. <sighs> we probably need to kill these pirates straight away. But it will cost us so much supply to go down there and kill them completely. I guess I could probably send one cruiser to do it if we're lucky. Speaking of which, what does a Mark V cruiser cost? 2800 they better be at least moderately capable of fighting Valiant, because at this point they're not even much cheaper. seem like they're surprisingly willing to settle for a stalemate for a while here, although they're definitely building their fleet up up there, but, uh... Oh, that's bold. Should we intercept that? I'm gonna keep an eye on it anyway. That's a big problem. Thanks for watching, Air Sailors. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch the campaign live on Twitch. Hope you all have a nice day. This is Sea Lord Jenda, signing off.